first lesson. St. John chapter 5 verse 30. I cannot of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I speak, I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which has sent me. God owns you. As a sequel to the above excerpt, you are not the owner of yourself. Rather, it is God who owns you. He is also the one to instruct and lead you. And so, you should refrain from speaking and doing things out of your free volition. In the compound where you live, there are virgins, even though the Father has been requesting virgins to be brought here to serve Him. Although they are yet to come, whenever the Spirit in them persuades them to come, they would all be here because this is not the time that people do things out of their free volition. The Father is often talking to us and directing us on what to do. As the international chairperson of this fellowship testified, there was a child of God in Lagos whom the Father commissioned to go to the prison and preach to people there. At the completion of the assignment, about 30 prisoners received baptism into this kingdom. So this is a proof that it is the Father who directs all to accomplish every task. Anyone who does things out of his or her free volition cannot please God. Hence, they will surely die. Whereas a person who works according to the Holy Spirit's directive would live. The Holy Spirit who is in our heart is jealous and desirous of our service. He needs us so seriously to avert being condemned along with other people of the world. We are God's temple, but the people of the world are not aware of this fact. However, the Holy Spirit reveals it that we are His temple. Hence, we should not defile our temp ourselves with sin, particularly fornication. We should live according to the dictate of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, if there is something you vowed not to resolve in your life, but the Holy Spirit directs you to resolve the situation, be sure you abide by that directive. There is a brother in Wari, Delta State, who was given a vision by a small boy to go on a ministry work to three stations. At the end of it, he should celebrate feasts. The brother, who was a pastor, instead of abiding by the vision, decided to scold the boy and saw the boy as an inconsequential person. The boy reiterated to the pastor that the vision was from God. That non-compliance with it would result in his dismissal from in his dismissal from office, divorced by his spouse, selling off his car and house, and that he would not have a place to shelter his children. Despite the emphasis, the pastor scoffed at the vision because it came from a poor small boy. In a, in a characteristic way, the pastor refused to obey the vision. By then, he was a boss in his place of work and had many houses and properties. After one year, the pastor was dismissed from his work. His wife left him. He sold all his property and did not have refuge for his children. Finally, he came here and testified, advising other members that no one should scoff at the Holy Spirit's directives. So many people are disobedient and stubborn. The scripture says, 
if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 31 to 32. A true child of this kingdom does not belong to any particular battle. Instead, they go into every nook and cranny of the world, serving the Father according to the instruction from the Holy Spirit. This explains why we have the song, My disciple be ever ready, by day and by night. Do not give directives to people out of your free volition. Instead, instruct people as the Holy Spirit in you directs. Make sure you direct according to the Holy Spirit's directive, irrespective of the position of the person you are sent to, so that you might be justified for being obedient. The receiver of the message may receive judgment accordingly, depending on his response to the instruction. Since we have knowledge of the fact that his advice is life everlasting, we should be obedient to him and make sure we do not resist an evildoer. The contentment of all couples with their partners is essential. On no account should you commit adultery with someone else's husband or wife. On no account must you be harsh with your children. Never segregate against any person or group of persons, but accept everyone. Husbands and wives should respect each other because as a couple you need to endure each other. God is not lazy and he is not I and he is not an idle being. That was why Christ said that his father worketh hitherto and he works. Therefore, God cannot instruct anybody to be a parasite. Instead, he gives everyone the ability to find his daily bread. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, St. John chapter 12, verses 49 to 50. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Life eternal. Make sure you refrain from adding or subtracting from the Father's instruction. And do not ever do what the Father does not ask you to do. In short, whenever you wish to put any message that is from God across to the listeners, tell the people the message as you receive from the Father as his advice constitutes life eternal. Here in this kingdom, it is the dictates of the Holy Spirit that everyone adheres. Besides, it is not the knowledge of education or wealth acquisition or beauty that is used to accomplish many spiritual assignments. Rather, it is the Father's directive which are used as inputs to accomplish every spiritual work in this kingdom. The knowledge, power and doctrine that are here in the kingdom are not of this world, but from God. There lived a woman who was revealed to go and minister prayers on a pregnant woman, but she refused. As a result of that, the pregnant woman gave birth to a premature child. The woman 
Avijana became lame, a price she paid for her negligence of duty. This is the cause of most problems of many people in this kingdom. There was also another person asked to undertake ministry work to three stations, but he refused. As a consequence, his plague was hernia. He took the sickness to hospital. It was not an easy thing to be identified. But each time he came back home and the hernia would reappear. One day he decided to go on the ministry work he was directed. Where he went, the demarcation was a river. Hence, he crossed the river to the place. While on his way to the place, he felt like defecating. And as he went into a nearby bush to defecate, he observed at that spot that the hernia disappeared to date. There are many stories here in the kingdom for you. Moreover, your disobedience deprives you of such joy and glory. There are some people here in the kingdom who have stayed for up to three decades without consulting medical doctor for any sickness. Rather, what they do when they are sick is knock their heads on the ground, fast, pay tithes, give free will offering and so on, healing them of their sickness. So there is no sickness, fear, deceit, loneliness, etc. here in the kingdom. Your problem emanates from the fact that you have failed to understand the words imparted to you are from God. Hence, you act contrary to them. Here in the kingdom, all the things done and the words spoken are from God. You should therefore discard the habit of treating the word of God with levity. The shoe that we do not put on and all other doctrines practiced here in the kingdom are not, pron are not pronounced by me to be practiced. Rather, it is the Father who pronounced such practices. The word of the Father is efficacious and that is why I do not toy with it and, and, and do not wish anybody to toy with it. Always be charitable to the needy and widow, for these people are brotherhood. Never impute sins to anyone. Do not hate and begrudge anyone, for these are the words of God. Always listen to the Holy Spirit every time and make sure you abide by His injunction. Whatever He directs you to do, you must. Never allow financial problems to debar you from being whatever God from doing whatever God advises you to do. Anytime you set off to do whatever God directs you, He is ever ready to accomplish such assignment for you by Himself. The scripture has it that as many as hear God's word would follow Him. So always listen to Him and do not doubt His instruction for by so doing you would be his and salvation is yours. Do not fail to relate God's message to whoever it is meant for and do not claim to be a visioner. You are all visioners of God and his mouthpiece. Hope in God. Submit yourself to him always and make sure your hope and boast in him and make sure your boast is in him in so doing he would let he would lead you to the accurate knowledge of truth establish your faith and hope in him do all that he directs you to do for his directives are true and wholesome 
when the angel of God advised Joseph to flee with our Lord Jesus Christ so that he would escape being killed by Herod, there was no trouble in the city. Joseph did not raise an objection to the instruction. In the same vein, you have to emulate what Joseph did by always keeping to whatever advice God gives you without asking questions. Read the golden text. Golden text. St. John chapter 6 verse 45. It is written in the prophets, And they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that art heard and art learned of the Father cometh unto me. Who are the, who are the real crusaders? Beloved, Following the excerpt above, it is a veritable truth that as many as imbibe God's words and practice them would follow him. Why those who do not imbibe his word and refuse to practice them, he would condemn. The many that do things out of their free volition and at the expense of God's directive would receive perdition as their reward. Let us be the set of crusaders who imbibe and practice his words, so that we are called crusaders by example. When Saul attempted to kill David, David went and hid, him, hid in a certain bush. Then God made it clear to David that should he continue to hide there, Saul would kill him. He should therefore flee from the place. Immediately David fled the place. You always sing that the Spirit of the living God should come and lead you, as it is written that he shall lead. There is no statement that neither a person nor an angel shall lead. Instead, it is the Holy Spirit who is to lead. Therefore, shun all other people's leadership and subject yourself to his leadership alone. The children of God are often informed of what would happen before such event takes place, so that there is nothing happening in the world which surprises them. If you have not been taking the word of God seriously before, you should start now to practice them seriously. Whenever you are faced with one tribulation or the other, he is always there to tell you that the tribulation is a price for your disobedience or is to test your faith in God. So always listen to him so that you will be able to face any tribulation that befalls you with confidence. If God instructs you not to board or, nor drive any vehicle throughout a certain interval of time, make sure you do just that. This is because there is a reason for giving such an instruction. During men's fellowship with the Father last week, the international chairman of the fellowship testified that when he came here last April, he knew that the Father would not fail to wash his feet among the twelve apostles. Hence, he decided to stay on till that night. Now, a day to that day, one of the brethren who came with him at that time wanted him to, to accompany him home. The brother did not remember what he resolved to do, and so he accompanied the brother home. On their way, they had a motor accident. During the time the father performed the washing of the feet, the father asked about his brother, only to be informed. The father asked about this brother, only to be informed that he had left for home. This brother blamed himself for being disobedient to the father's advice. This constitutes the problem we have in this kingdom. Disobedience being 
diverse problems to human beings. That is why those whom the Father reveals himself to and they refuse to recognize and embrace him often have problems. As testified by many of our brethren, let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.